We want you guys at this young age to develop a habit of exercising so that when you grow older, you will keep it, you will maintain that exercise so that we can change this culture, all right? So that, the, so that we can, we can um, lower this very high uh, mortality rate. Um, because it's, it's no use, you know, for us to live, you know, to work so hard to raise our kids and then at 59, you know, we have to go so that we don't enjoy our grandkids or anything, you know? We want, who wants to enjoy their grandkids? Who wants to grow older than 59? There we go. There, we, there you go. That's the idea. But you can't just grow to 90 years like that. You cannot just grow to 90 years, just sit down and do nothing. You know, we saw me. No, but it's very important for you guys to develop that habit of exercising and not just stopping at some point. So in this camp, we are not just trying to teach you about basketball like I just mentioned. So we're trying to develop a habit for you guys to exercise, not only now, but keep exercising as time goes. I'll give the floor to our, our Mrs. Kale over here, the secretary of um, SAC, it's called Athletes for Change. My name is Agnes Kamu. You'll be wondering, what is this old woman going to tell us about exercise? She looks so big. I can assure you, I'll give you my personal testimony. Months ago, I started having some people arthritis and doubt. Do you know anything about that? It's a condition that affects the bones and it's a condition that's also related to eating a lot of fatty things. All the so-called leka yuba, dunda yuba, without exercising. I started having problems in my legs, my back, and I cannot walk very well. So, apart from medication, I was advised to start taking what? Doing exercises on a regular basis. I did not go to the gym because it might be too expensive. I started doing something. We have something in this country, a free gym in this country, a free gym, and that is the beach. Every morning, at 7 o'clock, I'm out on the beach, and I found these Rasta boys there. <laughs> and they trained me. I was big. I had all this back, really looking very heavy. I cannot even take a step forward. And I started to train slowly and slowly and slowly. And now, you will ask me, have you lost weight? Yes, some weight. But I have gained something. All the aches and pains have disappeared. I think we are so privileged as young, as youth, as young adults to have people who can actually come here and tell us to be careful. What 